this is what I think about when it comes to weight classes, especially as, as it pertains between 60 kilograms to 77 kilograms around that range. I think 77 kilograms is easier because the lower you go, the more technique there is and the, the better guard players there are. And for me, as a, basically a stand-up wrestler who does jiu-jitsu, the, the, uh, the smaller guys, to me, are, are harder to deal with. Tall, skinny, flexible guard player. I think this is very different than an ADCC. You go to an ADCC, 70, the 77 kilogram guys are super big because they probably cut down from 83, 84. If you're in the pro division, these guys are cutting from maybe 86, 87. The pros, the pros are no are no joke, right? Uh, for those of you watching, I have not competed in pro yet. <laughs> Maybe later this year. Is there a tournament in June somewhere? Yes, ADCC. It's a big weekend for everyone. It's a big weekend for everyone because it's an opportunity for everyone to go down to Malaysia, two tournaments, June 1st, June 2nd, a GI-only tournament, ASJJF, on June 1st, ADCC Malaysia, which is the first one ever from this organization, on Sunday, in the same mall it's in the Tropicana Gardens Mall in Kuala Lumpur and a lot of notable people here in Vietnam are going Raymond Corey Mirko is going Simon says he's going to go Rob Deagle is going to go a lot of other people are going to go down there as well some people are a little hesitant to go into an ADCC because they think oh I don't know if I'm ready for an ADCC you are ready for an ADCC the ADCC, the way it works is you've got three divisions. Or th uh, instead of belts, you have beginner, intermediate, and pro, right? So beginner, basically white belt and blue belt, intermediate, anywhere from blue belt to brown belt, and then expert or pro is anywhere from purple belt to black belt. Um, so in other words, you can choose which division you go in. Right? And you go beginner every time? Uh, or just the ones I, you've won? I've never gone beginner. Uh, as if you've, if you've wrestled in college, you have to go intermediate. You have to go Basically like two years experience. You should yeah. You have to at least go inter intermediate, uh, or else you're, or else you'll be a sandbagger, right? You don't want to be a sandbagger, right? Which what does mean, it mean to you to be a sandbagger, Zach? How does that make you feel? I'm not People are calling you this. I'm not a say winning, no. consistently placing in ADC no. tournaments, gold okay. back to back. Okay. Uh, well, here's the thing. I've never, yeah. I've never won gold absolute in ADCC. What are some of the differences between the intermediate level and the pro level? I think there's a huge difference. A large percentage of these guys are make a living off of jujitsu. Or grappling one way or another one way so in coach, one way or another they're steadily competing but you've also got it seems the you know these guys who these guys who really did really well in high school wrestling and started jiu-jitsu and now they're like 22 maybe they're like a purple belt and and now okay i'm just gonna go pro mm -hmm. right but they're already high level grapplers like they're already high level grapplers, but, but they're wrestling. not in the level is like rob deagle right Rob Deagle is a great example of a pro competitive grappler. I mean, a lot of people have their, they're so good. They have their own styles, but here's the thing about pro like inter intermediate, you can go and, and if, if the, uh, if things work out right, like you're feeling good that day, your, your bracket, you don't have the toughest guy. The first round you did well in your weight class, right? So if you go to an ADCC, you have to do your weight class to do absolute. You can't just show up and do only absolute. So but you don't need to win your weight class to do absolute. You don't have to win your weight class. In in IBJJF, you have to get top three, and then you can, then then you can qualify for the absolute. You don't have to pay in ADCC before you go. I'm going to pay for okay, uh, seventy six and absolute. Okay, um, if you're going to win absolute, a lot of things have to line up. Uh, you got to finish your matches quick. Uh, in, in your weight class, right? Uh, you can't tie yourself out too much because after you, after your weight class, you maybe you have, every time I've had at least three matches in my weight class, 
you, you get done with your weight class and now the real tournament starts right the real tournament is absolute and it's safe to say that it's a tournament of really good crapplers from each weight class not necessarily the best because not everyone does it absolute pro is an absolute another level these guys are serious 